I greet you all this blessed afternoon as I present to you another edition of the Lesson of Life series. The previous presentation was based on the subject, Stand Firm with Your Ambitions. And the take home message from that presentation was to be consistent with every effort that contributes to achieving your ambition. If you haven't seen that yet, I will attach the link to today's presentation so you can go and listen to it. Today's presentation is based on the subject, Life is Short, so get up and get going. Again, life is short, so get up and get going. Many a times, we set different ambitions for ourselves at different points in time. And as time is going on, as situations are changing, we make mistakes. But along the lines, we hold on to our mistakes. And that prevents us from realizing that we've set an ambition ahead of us. We've set an ambition that needs to be achieved. We've all made mistakes in the past. Chances are we will keep making different mistakes as situations are not favoring us or as things are changing. But for how long can you hold on to a mistake that you've made in the past? Life is short. Get up and get going. You will have turn back moments in life. But when those turn back moments come, you have the option to keep turning back or to keep moving forward. You don't know what will happen in the next hour. You don't know what will happen in the next minute. You don't know what will happen in the next second. That is why you need to get up and get going because life is short. You've set an ambition for yourself. However, because you are holding on to a past mistake, you are still not seeing any progress. It's time to let go of that mistake and it's time to get going. Don't let that mistake distract you. Look forward to achieving the ambitions that you've set for yourself. The more you focus on the mistakes that you've made in the past, the more you keep distracting yourself. And remember, it's only a mistake if you don't learn anything from it. If you learn something from it, it's a learning lesson. It's not a mistake. Get up and get going. Don't let the past distract you. Stop paying attention, too much attention to the mistakes that you've made in the past. Focus on the present and how you can make the present a better time. So get up and get going. God bless you. I hope to speak to you again on another edition. Enjoy the blessed rest of the week. Thank you.